What is going on guys, it is Ashley here, welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I'm going to be discussing the game between Liverpool and Wolves and Anfield, which, I mean, there are, there are many talking points um, to take from this game and I think this game has just proven that VAR has not been imp implemented correctly in the Premier League. I mean, we saw it in the World Cup, and it it seemed it seemed se seamless, and it's it it seemed like the the perfect way forward for refereeing in football. Um, I mean, once it got going, it was it was slow to begin with, but then we uh, we accepted that it that it, that it will get better, but it just hasn't. It really hasn't got better. It, it seriously affected the game today because we really, we really should have got a point. We played absolutely magnificently. Probably the, the best away performance we've put in all season. The runaway league, away at the runaway league leaders with a rotated side as well, considering it, it was under 48 hours since since we last played. And an absolutely magnificent away performance um, at Anfield. And. We really deserved a point from it, and we really should have got a point because, well, Pedro Neto scoring his first ever Premier League goal, and it and it was short off because of a hand. I mean, how ridiculous is that? The hand you cannot score with the hand, so why should it be, um, a judge to be? Why should you be a judge to be offside because? the hand is apparently offside. If you can't score the hand, it's clearly not affecting play, is it? And it's not it's not crucial in in the uh, in the involvement of the goal. What what you don't normally judge offsides uh, with usually is 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 the feet. That's how ridiculous it, it has gone now and so many Ridiculous offside decisions have been made by VAR this season. It's absolutely, absolutely got awful. I mean, I I really don't think it's going to get any better. And from what I can see, the referees seem content with the decisions they're making. That it it doesn't seem like there's it at the moment anyway. It doesn't seem like there's anything being done to try and improve this. All that's being improved. It's it's the 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 time that the decisions are being made in, but e even then that's that's ad adding ridiculously long amounts of time on. Um, in the uh, for example in in the game against Man City, um, we had seven minutes uh, of added on time at the end of the first half. Um, normally that that uh, amount of added time is reserved to, for a serious injury that has taken place, but no. It's just a, a, a VAR decision. All I've talked about uh, in this video is VAR, but that that's 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 the main talking point. I mean, the the game obviously we played really really well, and we we deserved a point from it. But you, you can't ignore the fact that that VAR ha is is a massive massive flaw that somehow needs to be improved. Somehow the referees need to need, need to see what is wrong. And that's 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 the only way forward at the moment. It's we have been we've been truly robbed of, of a valuable point and a, a fully deserved point. Um played absolutely magnificently uh, as I've said and well we just have to move on. We just have to move on. It's something that's going to be quite hard to move on from because it's such a big talking point. It's it's we're just going to have to move on to the game against Watford now, which we should get three points from. I mean, Watford have had a real resurgence. Uh, they beat Aston Villa three 0 yesterday, a real boost for them. And it will definitely, um, especially because it's away from home, that'll be that'll make it even tougher. But hopefully, we'll, we'll be able to come through that and get some valuable three points because we've got I know uh, with the Europa League at the start of the season no one ever expected us to be challenging for Champions League but we've got a massive opportunity now um, we're right up there and 
in within touching distance of the top four. Um, and, you know, we may as well uh, try our best to try and um, make that happen. You know, we, we've also obviously got the Europa League. We're in the knockout rounds now. This season, like, at the start of the season, um, you would have really expected us to be mid-table. But this could be another season of, of overachievement. And we could do, even do better than last season. Last season was an incredible... Um, first season back in the Premier League, but we could even possibly do even better um, this time around with the added extra of the Europa League. So, yeah, uh, well, I guess we'll just have to move on uh, to Watford now and hope that we can get a result there. They are yet again the big talking point, and um, not bad losing one nil, but the, the the way that we lost. Um, it's a bit hard to take. If you did enjoy um, this uh, match review, make sure to smash that like button. And uh, I shall see you um, on New Year's Day with a review uh, of the Watford game. So yeah, uh, I hope you've had a good Christmas and uh, I'll see you in the new year. Until then, goodbye guys!